Matic and the Toasterific by Curtis Mark Williams, illustrated by Pascal Lafond. Her real name was Adeline, but like she told a friend of mine, call me Addie, then a warning, just don't call me in the morning. 7 a.m., the buzzer blared, harumph. A sleepy voice declared, she hit the snooze, morning stinks, and snuggled in for ten more winks. Groggily and unawares, she grudged awake and trudged downstairs, with hair awry and belly grumbling. Towards the toaster, she went stumbling. Ugh, I'm never in the mood when I wake to make some food. I wish that while I'm still in bed, my food can make itself instead. Then it happened, Addie froze, and in her mind a thought arose. Wait a sec, perhaps it can. She mused and smirked and hatched a plan. Here is what she did intend, working backwards from the end. I'll find a way to automate, getting toast made on a plate. But automate did not quite fit, so Addie tweaked it just a bit. Instead of something automatic, this thing will be Addie-matic. Starting off, she did decide to turn the toaster on its side. That's how I will get my wish. The toast will pop onto the dish. Now how to pull the toaster lever? I'll need something really clever. A mousetrap and a piece of string. Place just right could be the thing. To spring the trap, I'll need a mouse. But there aren't any in our house. Wait, my cat Ruby has a toy. I'll use that one in my ploy. To push the mouse in, let me think. A broom might be the missing link. And then to give the broom a whack, I'll roll a melon down a track. I'll start the track high on a shelf. The melon cannot roll itself. I'll knock it with a frying pan. Duct tape to the ceiling fan. Now how to start the ceiling fan? My sister's hamster, Hammy can. He can run inside his wheel and wind the chain like a fishing reel. To make him run, I'll need a peach to land just inches out of reach. Hammy sometimes can be lazy. His favorite fruit will drive him crazy. To get a peach won't be that hard. I have a peach tree in my yard. The hard part is to get it in, though I'll fling it through an open window. The peach can fall into a bucket on the seesaw that could hug it. Now she faced quite a feat. What to drop on the other seat? Something heavy, I'll use the ladder. How it tips is another matter. The garage door lifting, that should do it. She placed the ladder right next to it. Beneath the seesaw I will lay. The garage door clicker in the way. So when the peach falls in the pail, the weight will click it without fail. To get that peach out of the tree, I'll need some shears to set it free. To squeeze the shears and make him cut. The clothesline rope can pull them shut. I need some way to yank the rope. I'm sure my mom won't mind, I hope, if from the fridge I liberate a 10-pound turkey counterweight. I need to drop it from a height. My bedroom window seems just right. I'll rest it on my window ledge, precariously on the edge. And then to drop it right on cue, I think I'll need to fix it too. A big balloon which I'll hold still between the window and the sill. And when it pops, that bird will fly. Now how to pop it? What to try? A pin, a tack, a power saw. Wait, I know, a kitty's claw. Near the window on a chair. She lay dear Ruby sleeping there. When my clock rings, there's no doubt. She'll spring straight up with all claws out. Woo! And that was that. Addie smiled, admiring her creation. No more waiting, no more work. Perfect automation. All it needed was a name, something scientific. I christened thee, she said with glee, the effortless toasterific. The sun went down, she washed and brushed, and headed off to bed, with dreams of automatic toast still dancing in her head. Morning sunrise came at last. A new day had begun. The clock ticked down the seconds, then five, four, three, two, one. 
7 a.m., the alarm bell rang. Addie stirred, Ruby sprang. The balloon went pop, the turkey dropped. The shears went snip, the peach kerplopped. The clicker clicked, the garage door knocked. The ladder tipped, the seesaw rocked. The peach flew in, hammy wound. The chain was yanked, the fan went round. The melon rolled, the broom got pushed. The trap got snapped, the mouse got smushed. The string pulled, the lever dropped. The toaster warmed, everything stopped. A second later, the toaster popped. Addie stared, then smacked her head. Oh my gosh, I forgot the bread. Glossary, in order of appearance. Blared, made a loud sound. Harumph, an expression of protest. Declared, announced something. Snuggled, moved oneself into a cozy position. Wink, a brief period of sleep. Groggily, in a slow or weakened manner caused by sleepiness. Grudged, grumbled, complained, was dissatisfied. Trudged, walked warily with heavy, slow steps. Awry, turned or twisted, crooked, out of place. Arose, sprang up, came into being. Mused, thought about, meditated on. Smirked, smiled in a self-satisfied kind of way. Hatched, used one's brain to plan or design. Intend, to fix the mind upon something to be accomplished. Automate, to replace human effort with a machine. Tweaked, adjusted, fine-tuned. Ploy, a plan of action to accomplish a specific goal. Duct tape, generally gray adhesive tape used for many purposes. Huck, to throw a long way. Feet, a rare or difficult accomplishment. Liberate, to set free as from imprisonment. Counterweight, a heavy object mechanically linked to another object, which helps it be raised or lowered. Precariously, in an insecure or unstable manner. Christen, to name. Glossary, a list of words relating to a specific text with explanations, a brief dictionary.